I don't know if you can see that conglomeration down in there or not. The way I got that rig in there, it's uh, you got your uh, uh, negative to the center and then the positive go to the outside to pull that rust off of the uh, off of the uh, parts you got going on there. So uh, let me see. We'll get back here in a little bit. Get some water and stuff. Don't need to see all that. That's kind of mundane. All right. Got her hooked up with a regular battery charger there, and uh, got a, that arm and hammer washing soda. And they uh, got in here. I don't see a whole lot of activity just yet. But that soap is pretty old. It might be caked up so much. And if it doesn't work, then I'll uh, think it should. In other words, I'll try something else. All right. That's it for now. Well, we got that thing and these pieces in the tank, but it's getting kind of dark out here, but I don't really see much activity going on uh, for sure just yet, so I don't know. I might have to do something different. I don't know if the... Well, it looks like the uh, charger is still... Well, you can't see it, I'm sure, but... Well, maybe you can. Anyway, it looks like it's still... Got a little bit of movement on it there, so... Well, we'll see what happens like in the morning. I should leave them set all night. Alrighty, we're gonna see what uh, what this looks like down here in this electrolysis tank. I can see right off there's an awful lot of sludge and rust on the uh, in the water. So we shall see what's going on here. I'll unplug the battery charger. There we go. I don't really worry about that too much, but some people say, hey, you like to get blew up. Because there's fumes coming off of this. Well, there might be, I don't know. But I've done a lot of times, I never did get blown up yet. But, you know, always the first time. Anyway, there's that. This off of here, and take one of these little jumpers off of there. you got to get a jumper go between these two, so you're pulling from, you know, two sides. Okay. can't remember what was in there first. Let's just see. I don't know where to start. Somewhere, I guess. Because some of them was laying on top of another thing. Oh, yes. Come on out of there, old buddy. Man, that looks a lot better. See this? There is almost no rust. That's probably just stains on that. Let me get this out of here. Now, I might not have had good enough contact on the, up here uh, on this. Although, I do believe we have a I don't know if you guys can see this or not. If you remember what it looked like before. I gotta get this, I uh, can't leave this water here wet very long because without putting something on it, you know, you'll wind up getting rust will immediately develop on there. So I need to, need to make sure and get this. Let me see if I can put this over where you can see it better. Yeah, if you notice that thing is almost completely slick right there. I'm kind of impressed with this myself because uh, I believe we're good enough. I think I can take that water off. I think we got that off there. Uh, well, that is if I can get it off. There you go. Oh, who put that on there? They done a heck of a good job of it. Yeah, come on, there you There, get off there. There's that one. All right, I don't that is amazingly better than it was. I can even see them numbers on here now. Oh yeah, five, eight, eight, six, seven, and they got a little D up here on the other end. So maybe I can uh, figure out a little bit of something about what we got going on here then. Let's see. See, I can't see nothing in here. And uh, well, here's this one, yeah. And there's that thing on top of there. It is a amazing how much how this works i mean you know it, it just takes that crap off of there matter of fact it's not even hardly not hardly even pitted or anything let me get that wire off of here that's why i wound it up pretty tight because i wanted to get a good contact on both pieces of metal you gotta you have to have a uh, contact or obviously it ain't gonna uh connect make a connection there yeah okay it doesn't come off this way better. Yeah, it did. Okay. As I said, you've really got to clean this up because uh, with the water, because if you don't, you'll get. The, I really should be putting oil or something on this right now, just to prevent any uh, 
just to prevent any uh, rust from forming, but I'd have to, if I go to uh, put a finish on this stuff, like my Dura coat or something, I, I'll have to clean it all off anyway, but still, uh, we cannot allow this to. Man, I'll tell you what, guys, now that, I don't know if you remember what it looked like a while ago, but that blade looks almost like new, almost. I mean, there's still some stuff on it, but uh, not too bad. It is, and it's really, this process is really quite simple. Uh, there has been one person asked how we set this up and all. Well, I, I kind of explain as we go through here. You have to have a regular battery charger. Now, a regular one of them smart chargers, it'll work, but you got to run it through a battery first and then to this because they since there's no battery so they don't do anything. Gotta have these two things, I don't know what they call them, but anyway they're uh, they'll pick up all your we'll see this we'll show you in a minute. See what that does? That came off of those this came off of those knives. Look at that crap. That's been sitting on there less than twenty four hours. I mean that really pulls the stuff off. That looks nasty, don't it? Alright. See what we got. What else we got in here? And then the other thing, you know, your other leads. Let's see. It's the um, negative goes here. The positive goes over here. You're pulling, pulling this stuff off of there. Let's see. So what do we got here? Okay. Here's this. Just go ahead and unhook it from here if we can. Yeah. Man, get out there, you. Oh, that's down here. No matter. All right. Let's see what we got on this bayonet. I probably should have took a, a better uh, picture of this when we was showing them in their rusty condition, but man, it's amazing. We're going to look at these things here in a minute, close up, and uh, take a look at them, see what we got here, see what else we got down in there. Uh, what is down in here? Let's see here. Okay, here's another, another scabbard here. Now, let me just see about getting it out of here. Water out. That's another thing. I get. I need to take that up the air blower and blow that water all out of these things in a minute. Now you know any kind of pitting that's in there. This this uh, process is not going to remove the pitting, of course. What it will do is it will uh, show the pitting more because it'll pull the rust all out of everything. Now that one there is not bad. It's uh, it could be better, but it's not. I mean the rust is all out off of it, but the pitting and everything don't look too good. Get the last one out of here now. Well, where is it? It must have fell off and got down in there somewhere. No, I guess that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Yeah, okay. That's good. I was thinking of another one. But all, anyway, um, there's this one up here. Like I said, I'm going to do something before long because they will rust. And uh, back to probably worse than they was. There's that. And there is that. Now, let me see if we can get that picture good enough where we can really see what went on there. Let's see here. Let's try to get a little closer up on you. Okay, well, that's a little too far because you can't get them on there. That's amazing to me. I mean, I've done this electrolysis before, but and it always works. But maybe these weren't as bad as I thought, but they are kind of, kind of bad. Well, anyway, what I was saying, just a minute. Uh, you put some water in, plain old water in there, and then you get you some of this stuff. I this for a while, it's starting to harden up, and you know, that's what you get. Put some of that in, I don't know, a handful or two, whatever. One time I made a mistake, put too much in it, about shorter my charger out because it caused an electrical uh, continuity, I guess, through there. Anyway, it's just that, and uh, you see the, the, the hot on the these, the negative up here. See if I got that right. Yeah, because you want to pull the rust off and it goes negative positive. And you stir that soap up in there and you put your stuff in there and uh, and uh, hook your charger up and away you go. I mean, I put a jumper between these two. And there again, look one more time at this. If that don't look nasty, and that pipe was just, just well, it was a little rusty, but it's like this. And it pulled that stuff off. What a deal. Anyway, 
anyway, they're uh, they're looking good compared to what they were. So I'm going to go ahead and put some oil on them. I know I'm probably not going to finish them, do any finish on them right now. So it behooves me to oil them up a little bit. Alrighty, well there again. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and thumbs up if you feel like you'd like to. I mean, of course, I can't push you to do nothing like that, but and I wouldn't if I could. But anyway, uh, we're going to cut this off and uh, get out of here. Thanks again. <laughs>